MMAweekly.com here with George Santiago. George, how are you doing today, man? Doing good. You know, feeling good. You know, uh, just finished the press workout. Uh, very excited. Okay. Now tell me about this fight you got coming up at UFC 130 against Brian Stan. What kind of problems do you anticipate coming across in a fight with him? Um, no problem at all, you know. I feel, I feel like this is the place I belong. Uh, this is the fight I want to make. It. I want to do it. So I think everything is happening so smoothly right now. I think I'm going to do well, you know. Okay. And now you're fighting on uh, Memorial Day weekend against a former United States Marine. Do you have any uh, Do you have any thoughts on that? What kind of fight it would be on uh, such a patriotic uh, holiday weekend? No pressure at all. Uh, I don't mind. Uh, the fans will cheer for him, of course. Um, I'm honored to fight him. Uh, American hero, you know. Uh, the fans know him more than, than I. So I expect everything, you know. I just want to go inside, get respect. And hopefully their their fans will be cheering for me also. <laughs> now you talk about the fans and uh, how they know him more than they know you. What do you uh, what do you uh, expect to do in order to get the fans to know you and to appreciate you in the future? Just fight the way I fight. I think that'll be enough. You know, uh, I was fighting Japan. Nobody was watching. Like it's not a lot of publicity around. Here's UFC, the bag, the the biggest state uh, in the planet for MMA. MMA fighter, so I think now we're gonna have the attention now, uh, and they will see. They will, they will say if I deserve or not. Now, uh, you know, you fought in the UFC before, and uh, you're making your return. Do you anticipate any any differences from the last time to this time? Uh, nothing. You know, I'll compare myself to the last time. I was a garbage. Let <laughs> me say this way. Now I'm professional. I do this full time. Uh, I want experience, you know, uh, you know, we show everything inside the cage on Saturday night. And UFC got bigger since I left. It's been five years and everything changed. And um, I'm just glad to, to get back here and like and see the change and appreciate what I I start doing, you know, and the fans, the, the, the everybody here, the, the, the crowd, you know, I love it. It's been good. It's feeling, I'm feeling good. And you talk about the UFC uh, from before to now and how it's so much bigger. Uh, how does it feel or what does it mean to you to finally come back to the UFC at the stage that it's at now being the biggest MMA organization on the planet? It feels good, you know, it's like if you, deserve, if you want to do something like for your life, be a professional, you know, your biggest goal, I think this is the place you have to, to be, you know, inside UFC and, and hustle for your place, you know. Also to get the opportunity to one day fight the title shot. I think I'm just starting something here now, uh, UFC 130, and uh, and hopefully uh, I will go. I know for sure I will go further than that I am right now. Now, do you think there's going to be a giant difference between fighting in the United States and uh, fighting in Japan? Oh, of course, yeah. The fans are totally different. You know, <laughs> it's the only thing. You know, fight's a fight. If you're a fighter, you're fighting anywhere. You know, in a garage, in garage, uh, cage. You, a circle they, they put a, like I fought before and I fought all over the world now uh, it's just a fight you know once you get inside the cage you don't you don't think about anything else you just think about the fight you don't see the fans you don't see anything just after the fight so you have to celebrate and, and talk to them like and you know and have some fun you know right on and uh, before I let you go is there anything you want to tell the fan base out there in MMA uh, based on the MMA guys all my fans, I've been um, giving away my T-shirt, my signature T-shirt, the World Call, uh, by my Twitter followers. It's Santiago MMA. Keep following me. I'm gonna troll uh, for everybody, for the guys who are the winner. And thanks for Jaco Affliction, uh, Authentic Sport Management. Uh, they support me a lot.